A synonym for timeless Parisian elegance, since 1780, the name Chaumet evokes a vivid tapestry of images, from opulent jewellery and regal adornments commissioned by France's royalty, Empress Josephine, and Napoleon, to the graceful tiaras embellished with diamond wheat stalks, and the exquisite jewellery and watches adorned with enchanting scenes from the natural world. Today we will explore the most famous Chaumet jewellery pieces. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons, and if you wish to support me financially, you can do it via the super thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. Bourbon Parma Tiara The resplendent Chaumet Bourbon Parma Tiara boasts a captivating design adorned with fuchsias set atop a base featuring alternating sizes of diamond collets. Sprays of diamonds, delicately held in knife-edge platinum settings, add to its opulence. The tiara is crowned by upright pear-shaped diamonds, with both round and pear-shaped diamonds gracefully suspended below. This exquisite masterpiece was meticulously crafted by Joseph Chaumet in 1919. In that very same year, Princess Louise, Duchess of Dodoville, acquired the tiara with the intention of presenting it as a wedding gift to her daughter, Hedwige de la Rochefoucauld, upon her union with Prince Sixtus of the illustrious Bourbon Parma family. At some juncture between the 1950s and the 2000s, the Chaumet Bourbon Parma tiara transitioned from the family's possession and was subsequently repurchased by the esteemed Chaumet Jewellery House. In the years since, this iconic tiara has graced the heads of various actresses and models. It gained particular fame when worn by Anne Hathaway in the Princess Diaries films. Bayadere Necklace It wasn't until the early 1900s that a profound artistic exchange blossomed between the esteemed French jewellers and the revered royal houses of Japan and India. Among these pioneering encounters, Chaumet had the distinction of being the first French jeweller to embark on a journey to India. Within their opulent creations, the majestic Bayadara necklace, meticulously crafted in 1920, stands as a testament to their exceptional artistry. Taking its name from the tasseled chains traditionally worn by Hindu dancers, this necklace is a mesmerizing assembly of natural sea pearls a feat that took the Maison an impressive 30 years to source. Its composition includes platinum, sapphire cabochons, and rose-cut diamonds, all harmoniously intertwined to create a masterpiece. La Nature de Chaumet La Nature de Chaumet is a prestigious high jewelry collection that draws inspiration from the enduring symbolism of the oak, the lily, the laurel, and wheat, timeless motifs that have traversed the ages and now experience a renaissance through Chaumet's visionary touch. Each masterpiece within this collection revolves around a botanical element that not only exudes a distinctive visual elegance but also carries profound symbolic significance. The lily, the wheat, the laurel, and the oak have all been intertwined with powerful and energetic symbolism since ancient times serving as enduring emblems of life, authority, and legacy. One of the crown jewels of this exquisite collection is the Offrande de Thay Diamond Necklace. Adorned lavishly with diamonds, this masterpiece captures the essence of a late summer moment through the perfectly rendered bright grains of wheat with an added touch of brilliance brought by a pear-shaped diamond drop. Ears of Wheat Tiara. This remarkable tiara, a testament to craftsmanship and historical significance, was meticulously crafted around the year 1811 by Francois Renu Nito, the son of Marie Etienne Nito, jeweler of the empire and founder of the house that would become Chaumet. Ears of Wheat, symbolizing prosperity, generosity, rebirth, and peace 
were among the motives favoured by Napoleon. As the official imperial jeweller, Maison Nito frequently incorporated this emblem into its creations, particularly for Empress Josephine, who cherished it as a diadem. Comprising nine meticulously designed ears of wheat, adorned with over 66 carats of old-cut diamonds set in gold and silver, this tiara stands as one of the oldest treasures within the Chaume collection. Its significance as a manifesto jewellery piece stems from several factors. Firstly, it serves as a perfect embodiment of Chaume's expertise in crafting tiaras, a tradition dating back to the First Empire. Secondly, its sense of motion and delicacy mirrors Chaume's virtuosity and specialization in the art of the line. Coronation Sword When Napoleon ascended to power, he aimed to bestow upon the new regime all the grandeur and magnificence it deserved. Mariation Nito, a former collaborator of Marie Antoinette's jeweller at the illustrious court of Versailles, swiftly assumed the role of jeweller to the first consul and the future emperor of the French. At Napoleon's behest, Nito undertook the remarkable task of setting the legendary Regent Diamond, a dazzling 100 and 40.64 carat gem upon the coronation sword. The Regent Diamond ranks among the most renowned diamonds globally, known for its exceptional beauty and historical significance. This remarkable gem began its journey as a rush stone, weighing an impressive 426 carats, unearthed from the famed Collar Mines in southeastern India in 1698. Years later, in 1717, French Regent Philip II, Duke of Orleans, made the momentous decision to incorporate this extraordinary diamond into the crown jewels of France, forever cementing its place in history. Ruby Ring The renowned billionaire and socialite, Lily Safra, was the custodian of an extraordinary collection of rings adorned with precious gemstones, each bearing witness to her discerning taste and an affinity for exceptional craftsmanship. Among her treasured possessions, one particular gem stood out, a Burmese ruby and diamond ring of exquisite artistry created by Chaumet. At its heart, this remarkable ring showcased a captivating cushion-shaped ruby of substantial weight, measuring approximately 32.08 carats. The ring's allure was further enhanced by the inclusion of trapeze-cut diamond shoulders. To the best of my knowledge, this ring holds the distinction of being the most expensive Shoma jewellery piece ever to grace the auction block, commanding a staggering price of over $6.8 million. Andes et Merveille's collection. In a groundbreaking milestone, Shome has embarked on a momentous journey by dedicating an entire high jewellery collection to celebrate the boundless allure of the sea. This collection unveils a mesmerising odyssey that traverses the diverse and enchanting realms of the maritime world. It weaves a narrative that embraces the sea in all its multifaceted forms, from the tender caress of gentle waves dancing atop the water's surface to the depths of underwater treasure hunts, the serenity of ships nestled in tranquil harbours, and the powerful currents of the Gulf Stream. At the heart of this collection lies the Fleur d'eau diamond necklace, a spectacle of resplendent beauty that captures the rhythmic undulation of ocean waves. This necklace, designed with meticulous articulation, elegantly drapes against the skin, and its centerpiece, a dazzling 7.18 carat diamond, can be detached, allowing for versatile and captivating styling. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.